Hey, welcome back to Philosophy Talks with Young Camel Toe. I am hungover and I just smoked a lot of marijuana and I uh, feel like this would be a good time to just talk. Um, we're just going to do philosophy, just general 101 basic intro to Young Camel Toe's thoughts. Um, first of all, uh, Br uh, dryers or briars uh, ice cream in the morning is a great way to start your day. I must say it's a great way to start your day. I am Camel Toe, let me start my day uh, by smoking marijuana. Then going for about a 30 minute jog around my neighborhood or some other neighborhood or the forest or the beach or wherever. About 30 minutes jogging, then I do about 15 minutes of push ups and sit ups every morning. Then I come home and eat ice cream. Now, I should email casting directors and head up a, com a com comedian booker and find some work, but I feel like playing video games, maybe hitting up a bitch, you know what I mean? Excuse me. I say bitch when I lie. I say nigga when I lie. But a bitch is just a female. I love bitches. I love females. And I love niggas. It's, it's all positivity. When I say bitch and nigga, I'm not trying to demean nobody. So yeah, maybe, you know, hit up a bitch, play some 2K18, eat some ice cream. I should hit up some casting directors. I should make some music. I haven't made music in like a week. I'm just releasing old stuff from last month. There was literally a day where I made like 30 tracks in one day for no reason. I was eating ice cream. Rapping and playing Pokemon Sun on my Game Boy. It's crazy. Um, there's this kid named uh, Troy Harris Christ. Great kid. Um, he just he, he just sends me album covers and track names and just suggestions on my music. He never said hi. He never said who he was or what he does. He just started making suggestions. And he made an album, album cover. He suggested I name my, my mixtape uh, The Camel's Back and my next one uh, Sort of Sweatshirt. And he just did it because he wanted to. I like that. I like people who just go out and do what they want for the culture. I like that. More people need to just stop asking questions and do like Troy Harris Christ. And just start making content. It worked. I'm not famous or anything. I don't even know why he's doing it. But that kid's going somewhere. If he keeps that up, just doing things without asking questions, it's going to go far in life. Um, I think it's very uh, healthy to once a week just get fucked up with your homeboys or homegirls and just go out and just be animals. Just I'm not trying to say sexual animals. I'm not trying to say get the most phone numbers or knock the most bitches. I'm just saying in general, be an animal. Go go in there like Mowgli out the Jungle Book. Just start jumping on trees. Start high-fiving people. Just get lit. Be loud. Talk about things you normally can't talk about with random motherfuckers who's fucked up. It's very fun. I like to do it at least once a week. Saturdays is the only day I do it because Sundays I get hung over and jog while high. You should do it. It's just good for your soul. And you find out a lot about yourself that you would never find out. Like, I found out that I could lightweight dance. Or at least, I think I could lightweight dance. I don't know. The bitches was liking me dancing last night. That's all I'm saying. Shouts out to the bitches. Um, this week, I'm not going to do shit. We're going to have the LA Auto, um, auto Show. Um, it's cool. I'm working State Farm. Just got to stand there, look cute. Pay, you know, 20 an hour. It's okay. But I don't have a job. Most people are like, yo, what do you do? How do you make money? Difference? Look, I don't have a job. I'm a brand ambassador. That means I work for different companies that do marketing. I go to public events, concerts, and just do guerrilla marketing for different companies. And basically, I just hand out free shit and say, check out this company. They're awesome. That's it. I get paid anywhere from 20 to 40 hours an hour, or $20 an hour. And uh, that's my side hustle. I do production assistant work, so I'll be on like commercial sets. Uh, Helping behind the camera when it comes to commercials. I do that work. And <clears throat> I get paid some money for music. I'm not going to say how much, but it's not a lot. I get paid for music. Comedy, not so much. I don't really make money from comedy. <clears throat> but from acting, 
I make a, I make a good amount from acting, just being in small roles and you know commercials and shit. Uh, I make it. Ooh, brain freeze. Mm. My rent's only five hundred, so I pay five hundred a month for living in K Town, Los Angeles, baby. It's horrible shit. I only do shit. Mm. This shit's about to break. So I'm a fat nigga. I weigh two hundred and fifteen pounds. I'm six foot three. I'm a niggas nigga. I'm your favorite niggas nigga, man. I'm a nigga nigga, man. I'm a nigga. If you you know you know a nigga nigga, I'm a nigga 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 nigga. Stone that out. I'm high as a kite right now. I hit up this chick. I call her Red. She's my weed dealer now. Cause my old weed dealer, shouts out to Paul, Too Tall Paul. He wrecked his vehicle and he lives in South Central and he's not he's not trying to leave the crib anymore. I like deliveries, so. My new, my new weed chick is, uh, her name is Red, and Red come through. Um, I'm gonna probably get some today, because Red got the good shit. Good, good. Mm. Fellas, if you got a female out there, every once in a while, just don't do this every time, but just every once in a blue moon, text your chick, I fucking love you, you're dope as fuck. Just say that message, man. I texted this chick that message last night, and she, she, she was just so... Just the, re the response I got was just so lovely. You just, fellas, I'm telling you, just text your chick that one day, randomly, and when you come home, she gonna hop on that dick. I'm telling you. Mm. What is the philosophy of the rich? There really is no philosophy. I guess you could say the philosophy of young camel toe is just, I mean, everybody walks around this earth always saying like, you know, there's so much purpose and so much meaning. I gotta go do this, I gotta strive, I gotta go do this. Um, the philosophy of young camel toe is, yeah, that's true. You could do that. Or you could just say, fuck it. You could just say, I was born. I don't care what happens. I don't care where I'm going. I'm just going to be an animal. I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want. That's an option. And I like that option. So I'd say young camel toe is the option of non-options. It's the option of, yes, I'm woke. I should vote. I should go out and rally. I should save orphans and be a true Christian and be the most loving nigga in the world. But you know what? I also have the power to just say, no, I, I want to be the bad guy. I can't, I'm not the bad, bad guy. I don't sell drugs, I don't rape, I don't kill, I don't steal. But, I'm the undercover, you know, I don't give a fuck nigga, you know what I mean? I'm just saying, there's always that option to just be like, eh, maybe I should, you know, get married, have a kid, and have a family with a white picket fence, and be a lovely guy, and have to send my kids to school. Or, I just be like, nah, nigga, I'm just gonna eat ice cream in the morning, jog while hot, make stupid raps about nothing, and call myself Young Camel Toe on Instagram. That's an option. That was the option I chose, that's the option I'm taking, that's the option I like. If you don't like it, well shit, fuck you. I mean, you know what I mean? Because in this life, I have the freedom of speech to just say, fuck you. And whatever you choose to do, whether that be lawyer, doctor, student, Wife, husband, kid, motherfucker, priest, good priest, bad priest, lion priest, money making priest, Cadillac priest, Cadillac pimp, whatever you chose in life, I respect your choice, man. As just as long as you chose it. If you if you listen to your parents and you let your parents tell you what to do all the way through college and through getting a job and who to marry and where to live. You was a sucker, motherfucker. You should have been said fuck that. I said fuck that. I said fuck it to my parents' plan when I was about, what, 19? But yeah, 1 through 19. I was like, yeah, I'm doing my parents' one. I'm going to get good grades. I'm not going to do drugs. I'm not going to do all that. And then 19 hit, and I said fuck it. And now I'm here today. And they might say, well, you could be living a better life, young Cam. I'm telling you, you could be. More financially stable, maybe have a kid and a wife, and you know, be a Christian man with a Bible. But fuck that. I could also be who the fuck I am, and I like that option. I always like the option that's a little bit weird, a little bit off. More interesting. This ice cream about to melt. I'm about to play some video games. Suck a dick. Stop being soft.